dude. Fuck. <laughs> Last minute sales I had that I had to pick up a package. I totally forgot. So sorry, honey. Hello, yeah, Michael. Okay. What's up, boy? Same old shit, man. Yeah, you had an you had quite the adventure over the weekend. Yeah. Is there a specific reason you're going to Nashville, or was it kind of like um... um her friend's birthday? That's where she wanted to go, so that's where we all went. It was us and two other couples. Oh, fun! Did you guys have yeah. a, Did you guys have a blast? You guys were like, "Oh my god, let's all get matching shot glasses." No, not not like that. You're not that uh, way. Yeah. Had a good time. Nah, that's cool, man. Uh, did you guys go to a concert? Because I know Nashville's very popular for his concerts. No. no, no, no concert, eh? Nope, just got really drunk for three days. Those are always a good time. Always Can't really beat time. that. No, not at all, man. I haven't had one of those weekends before in a while where you just sit around, just get absolutely tanked. Those are good times. Very good times. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I learned a new word over the over the weekend. Actually, not weekend. Probably like like, like a week week or so ago. Gawk. Gawk. You ever heard of gawk? Isn't that the sound a chick makes when you're like throat fucking them? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just getting over a cold. Um, technically, yes, but no. Uh, the other term for gawk means girl cock. And now a word from our sponsor. Something everyone can use. That was crazy. That's the carry cart 4-in-1. You've probably never seen anything like it. It's a dolly to move big things, a trolley for hauling heavy things, a hand truck to go up and down and in and out of tight spaces, and an amazingly super sturdy step ladder to get up safely. Will it make someone fall in love with you? Or create riches beyond your dreams? Or perhaps make you famous? Probably not. But it will make moving virtually anything a lot easier on your back and on your wallet. Don't buy any of these expensive space hogs when you can do it all better with one super slim carry cart. It's best in class as a dolly, best in class as a trolley, best in class as a hand truck, and the best stepladder you have ever owned. Plus, it's cool and needs no tools to move it from position to position. We put a 2,400 pound car on four carry carts. If it can handle this workload, it can certainly do any job that you've got in store for it. Look at this, ha! I'm rolling the car, that's crazy. Make big jobs easy and fun and get it done. With the carry cart form one, just click the button on the bottom of the page and pick a color, we'll even chip it for free. You gonna say anything? That's probably for the best. See, we told you. Oh no. Yeah. Is that, is that like bussy? That yeah, the... like yeah, like 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 boy pussy, girl cock, yeah. Oof. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't know, man. I mean like Oh, it's B O C K. Okay. Bock? Or, or no, G O C K. Yeah, go, yeah. Or walk for woman cock <laughs> or, or lock, yeah. lady cock. I don't know. Lock seems kind of funny. But I like gock. I don't know. I think gock's a good one. Well, you know who lock. sucked a, you know who sucked a lot of gock. Smoke. Salmon locks? I don't. Uh... <laughs> salmon locks? Yeah. Like uh, some smoked salmon. Oh, yeah. I've, I've actually never heard of salmon lock before. No, <laughs> I've heard of like lock, like Loch Ness, yeah, like, like Nessie. What if they, we should fucking write a porno called Gock Ness instead of Nessie? We'll call it Bussy. Hmm. Lock Bussy, <laughs> the Lock Bussy monster. <laughs> be a Scotsman. Yeah, Scotsman. There, 
You well, never seen bussy like this. You never seen bussy like this. This Get bussy Sean here. Connery. Yeah, yeah. We'll write. We'll write Sean, Sean Connery back from the dead. He's just like this bussy over here smells good. <laughs> I heard um, that. what the fuck? Oh yeah. Speaking of who a ma- a person who loved bussy and gawk. Rest in peace, Alan Heisey. Oh yes. And people want people on here are gonna be like, who the fuck are you talking about? The best uh, rest and piss bozo of recent memory. Yeah, man. <laughs> Seriously. Did you did you find out anything about what happened? Like, like, how did he go? I don't know, man. If you remember, he he was always real skinny. So yeah. He probably had some health issue of some sort. I just I don't uh, I don't know what it is. I hate to assume, but uh, I don't know, man. I mean, he wasn't that old. I think he was yeah. probably like early fifties at least. Yeah. Now nah, it's. You know, I've, I had to hold my tongue. I mean, I feel bad. You know, he had a couple kids. It sucks, but it's... still, he put a bad, put a bad taste in mine and yours and a lot of other people's mouths. I'm sure Here's a lot thing. of people I knew probably were like, "Fuck that guy." <laughs> he never actually gave me a referral or anything no. like that. That was that was the black deans that did that. But uh, he was just a fucking dick. All yeah, the time. he was. Yeah, he never gave me a referral either. He was just um, he was just the guy. I mean, I don't know. He was just, yeah, no, he was just, to me, he was kind of like the guy. It's like, oh, I missed the good old days of being in high school. I was probably picked on in high school. So now I could be a bully to like other kids yeah. and stuff. I'm a, I'm a wrestling coach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all, all the, all the wrestlers I knew were like, rest in peace, coach. And I'm just like, Ugh. I know he was, he was all about smoking the cigs. So oh, when you do it for that long. When you do it for that long. From lung cancer. Yeah. Uh, or COPD <laughs> or something. COPD, shit, I'm coughing right now. I probably have it. <laughs> I mean, you can get popcorn lung from fucking doing those vapes there, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that your plan? Is that your master plan? Yes. Just get popcorn yeah. lung so you can be like, honey, I'm never, I can't work. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm disabled. I, I actually worked with a guy who had popcorn lung from vaping a lot. He, um, Oof. he, like there's nothing they could do about it. Basically, what they did was just try to give them just medications. Because basically, yeah. like what it is, it's kind of like just mute. It's like it's like white mucus, almost uh, like cum on your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, they just um just gave them as many um, cum suppressants. Cum suppressants. Thank you. Yeah, cum drops. Cum drops. And um then they just they basically he said he just he was hacking up just white shit for like a year oh boy and i'm like can you imagine that like dealing with that and also dealing with like a cold at the same time or something oh boy oh man that's probably in my, that's probably in my future I mean, honest, but, uh... God, i don't know what the hell i'm dealing with right now but i've been coughing i mean i was like pretty sick last week i had like a pretty bad sore throat um i didn't didn't get tested because i don't see the point because because well, covid has gone now dude co- covid has gone <laughs> <laughs> there goes my youtube channel just kidding who gives a fuck <laughs> spreading misinformation scott misinformation is deadly vaccine whoa, whoa, whoa we don't have to get into that conversation right there <laughs> we've we, we talked about that fucking many 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 a times yeah so i'm gonna try something new bro i'm the going to flu. what the kung flu kung flu yes yes um so this is going to be pre-recorded uh, as you already know but the people don't know then i'm going to post it live so that's gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna test it out because live stream pod live stream pod basically i mean we're, but the, other than that we're not going to be reading the comments or anything yeah i mean i've done like several live streams already <laughs> with several people they're fun, but I figure since, uh, you know, we're still resorting to Zoom at the moment, we can just do this for now yeah. because I, I don't want to pay for fucking premium just to do a live stream on Zoom. It's hey, like, dude, are, like, you, are you Mr. Beast, dad? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, okay. So, yeah. I, mean, I kept every, seeing those in the comments on the videos. I was like. What what is what is this all about? How did this start? So, so people think I look like Mr. Beast, and I do a little bit, and and then like I, I I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll post like one like video like, like like a video or so, and then all of a sudden it just blew the fuck up, <laughs> and and now people are thinking I'm his father, and 
it's really, really, really amazing how stupid people are. Dude. They're probably like, like the same age in all reality. I think I think he's younger. I think he's like the same uh, age as my sister. I think he's like 24, 25 probably. Wow, you're popping out kids at six years old, bro? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah, man. I um just, just can't just, I don't know. Apparently, my, my, my balls dropped at fucking nap time when I was in preschool. Right. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, shit. Hey, you got the door. You good? Is it? Yeah. You, you got anything else you need to carry in? No. no? Your package is on the ch- chair of the bed. Miranda walked in with Costco. Uh, oh, you also have to get your woman's packages? Like I have to? Well, I mean, I I, I got off late, so I, uh, I wanted to get, to get the pod going, you know, before things got too late because I like to have quality time with my baby. Um, and then I totally forgot to get the packages, so I was just like, oh, shit. Uh, can you she's like no you're getting it i'm like oh okay i'll get it <laughs> she, she, she didn't say it like that of course she's just she's looking at me like i'm not a psychopath all right understandable she got a euro meal did you get that yes hell yeah dude Co- are you are you a member of costco yet no oh my god dude so costco has like pre-made like dinners it's like south florida sam's club yeah well yeah yeah as far as buying your yeah. bowl, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, bro. Oh boy. This video is sponsored by Costco, Kirkland Farms, and we also got a big ass Caesar salad presented by Boo Boo. Look at that thing. Oof. Oh man. See, I was never a good. Caesar salad guy until I started dating Katie because she really? gets them all the time. And I I too also eat them all the time now. Caesar salads are good, but you they're so boring at times like you gotta like just you gotta just go hard with the caesar salads nothing nothing is better than olive garden salad to me personally no what do you think of olive garden salads babe average average i think average. i think they're pretty good okay Mo- mojo's grill in ocala they got some good ass salads you've eaten there before I haven't gotten a salad from Mojo. Oh no. shit! Oh my god, dude! And, and that next time you and Katie visit, okay, like, get us get a salad, get a, a mango, get a. You like spice? You like spicy food? I do. My stomach doesn't, but I do. <laughs> get a mango habanero uh, salad, uh, either grilled or fried, in a big taco bowl. Oh boy! I had no time to eat it, honey. <laughs> Remember, I had a late sale, and then I then then I went I went to go get. I got I got paid. I'm getting paid for that and for this. Wait, you're getting paid for podcast? Well, I mean, not really, but um, I mean, ads. Theoretical dollars. Yeah. Do, you, do you need? Do you want a microphone, honey? You want to come in and and actually, there's a microphone right here. Hello. Yes, it works. Here you go. Hello. 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 Did you lose your voice with that one sickness that you recently got? No. AIDS? Oh, I lost my voice for like a weekend. <laughs> it went really low. No, you I'm lost, still kinda, you lost I your voice. From, I figured it's just from my immune system being yeah. low from having a three-day drinking bin. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I, I heard you got a Z-Pack and all that stuff, but we just fought this yeah. thing off and you're still lingering. Yeah, I'm I'm still coughing like a fucking maniac. I had to do that. Yeah, last month, like a little over a month ago, like a month and a half ago, I was sick. Yeah, and I remember. Yeah, we 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 did the podcast, terrible. and you weren't. Yeah, you're still feeling like shit. Yeah. Well, then I I mean I was better in between time, but I, like I said, this is probably just from my immune system being lowered from drinking heavily for three days. And being <laughs> with the well, hospital people doesn't help either. Oh yeah. No, no, I'm around sick old people all the time. Yeah, and no, I'm around kids yeah. all the time. So this is the first time I've gotten sick in like a while, like sick sick. Yeah. That what's what's the new shit they're uh complaining about RSV? RSV, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They, well, they yeah. say it's bad. They, they say it's bad for kids. I say good. I assume. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh it's fucked yeah. Up. <laughs> like Catholic like priests. <laughs> child or something i, I or... didn't say chloroforming a child that was you baby well you're kind of <laughs> <lying>. <laughs> what does rsv have anything to do with chloroforming a kid you just basically said 
eradicating. Wait, can you hear Mike with the headphones? Yeah. On? I oh can. no shit! Because I, I just realized I had my headphones on the yeah, entire time. Hmm. Hmm. I got I got a good ass mixer. No, you'll be really funny, dude. Whenever uh chloroforming kids, yes, that would be hilarious. Actually, <laughs> when when the four of us finally get together, we should hang out. But instead of like sitting together at a table, with let's just zoom from one end of the restaurant to another. Just to, to, I don't know, it'd be fucking hilarious. And, and join the cameras later on. Be like, hey, yeah. hey, it's funny. I've uh, like we've we've re- we've been reconnected for over a year, and I haven't seen you in about twelve. Damn, that's a long time. <laughs> yeah, that is a very yeah. long time. I yeah, was, yeah, I was, I was 70. No, I, I was, I think I was 18 the last day. It was my 18th birthday the last time I saw you actually in person. Um, you yeah, was it? Yeah, I feel like it was. It because... was at, it was that my final, late, my final Forest Vanguard game was on my 18th birthday. And I, yeah, was and there, I think but... I went, yeah, I remember I went with a couple of buddies. I was, I was that guy that was just like, I'm graduated, but I'm, yeah. that, that means I'm, that means I'm cooler than you now, but I'm still going <laughs> to come back and hang out at school. You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys now. Luckily, I was never one of those guys with a lifted truck that like went back to forest oh, yeah. after oh. after like a year or two of being graduated just to hang out with his homies, hang out with fifteen year old hoes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they're they're That's just what like they would do. They're That's like, what oh my god, god. But it's guys the coolest hangout spot, Scott. Scott. So why the hell not? Well, that and Sonic Drive Through was the coolest hangout spot for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Did, very did you much. did you hang out there a lot or not really? A few times. Yeah, uh, the, it was like, it was too lame for me. Too when late. I'm going to get food, I want to go somewhere that isn't busy, ideally. Well, when I want to go get food, I want to go to somewhere that's not going to fucking give me a bolo like like yeah. Sonic. <laughs> I mean, ice their ice cream is pretty fire. I lo- I personally love Sonic. I'm not going to hate on Sonic right now. That's Sonic's ice to... cream's the shit. You, you you literally just disrespected the chicken bacon d- d- double the chicken bacon double triple baconator right there, bro. And you know, that was no, no, no. I'm not. I'm. I'm not throwing shade at Wendy's either. Even Don't though I think it's sick. I, I think it's sick. The last three times I ate there. But. Not really? gonna lie, I feel like Wendy's had like thicker patties back in the day. <laughs> Every, everybody, did. every place did. Yeah. Every fucking place did, and then inflation kind of ruined it all. Yeah, kind of did, didn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Biden. Thank you, Obama. I'm just kidding. Obama. Just kidding. Well, no, it started with Obama. Technically. Started with Obama. Well, no, inflation technically started in the late 1920s it did yes mm-hmm. it certainly did and uh it's only just... roaring 20s uh yeah the, the roaring 20s i dude i want to go i wish i was back in the fucking 1920s that'd be so cool yeah oh we went to a, a speak do you know what a speakeasy bar is yeah it's where yeah. you go to a bar and speak easy because you can't get in trouble by the police prohibition you gotta speak easier yeah you gotta... easier. <laughs> well we were told no. that there's actually a couple of speakeasy bars out in ocala Oh, I am bar. unfamiliar with those. Ocala, well, started, it's because it's it's because it's Ocala, bro. That's why. Oh. Okay. No one wants to. Never go heard to of it. Never heard of it. Going out, I don't know, dude. Oh my god, going out in Ocala nowadays, it's so fucking ridiculous. I was there, me and Miranda were there, um, with my cousin. You know the one, the the guy who looks like Thor. I yeah. I yeah. Yeah, we were. We were at the new one of the new new bars, Mutiny, with my with my siblings and a couple friends of ours. And there's like this fucking like typical like Ocala like uh like chubby girl that wears a lot of makeup definitely has tattoos likes like you know she, she's definitely like a what they would call a skater chick back in the day the post scene girls no, no post, offense post scene yeah, girls because you, you were you were post scene but she but, but she continued with the scene so <laughs> this bitch is all over Tyler like she's oh sorry Tyler. Well, I'm not gonna say his last name. Well, you can always cut that out. That's it's okay. fine. He's fine. Oh, Tyler, I love you, buddy. But so this bitch was all over Tyler, and she, and you know, he's he's being friendly. He's just like, yeah, yeah, you're a little too hideous for me, but I'll be, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. And so, <laughs> so then all of a sudden, I hear out of my my ear, she was saying, "Oh, do you want to do some crystal?" And my god, my cousin's oh. like, "What?" And and she she's like yeah I like I she's like I have I like we can do meth and and Tyler's like dude I'm from fucking South Florida but Boca Raton well we we do blow <laughs> and <laughs> and like get some real speed get get some real speed instead of this fucking this fucking gross ass it's break- horrifying doing freaking meth like who it's does like, that it's pretty nasty I didn't like it oh, yeah, only in Ocala. Uh, uh, but then finally we're all getting ready to leave and this girl wouldn't leave Tyler wouldn't let wouldn't let Tyler leave and so finally I decided she to be crack mouth. 
Oh, oh, fire time. Surprisingly, no. It's it's she oh. probably has dentures, probably. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so when we were leaving, yeah, she wouldn't leave. She wouldn't let Tyler go, and he's just like, I'm kind of kind of got to go, you know. And she's just like, No, 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 no. She's like, Stay. And then finally, I was just like, All right, I'm doing it. So then I went over. I said, Hey, babe, we're ready to go. She's like, Babe. And then I'm like, Yeah, he didn't tell you we're together. And Tyler's just like. <laughs> He just starts laughing, and then she, and I'm like, yeah, we gotta go. And Tyler's just like, you could have picked something better than that. And I'm just like, what are you gonna do? I, I should just grab you by the wiener. And just... All right, babe, let's come go. on, Le- come on, Legolas. We got we got to go back to Rivendell. <laughs> well, he's your role model back in the day, so it's the least you could do to pull him out of a. Now I'm hit. Now I'm his role model because I can. I guess. Now I'm his role model because I can now drive him. We we're just talking about that actually earlier. We're, oh, on, yeah? we're on the phone, yeah. <laughs> Well, right on. I'll let you guys get back to it. Yeah, no All girls right. allowed. Get out. I was just your guest for a second. <laughs> nah, thank you for coming, honey. Guest oh, appearance. Get special guest appearance, Miranda. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Take care. Well, that was a lot of fun, Michael. She's loads of fun. How, how's your wife doing? Uh, good. good? She's probably she's either napping or just got done napping. Oh, nice. Very nice. So is that are you guys having your wedding in Nashville for some? I don't know. For some reason, yeah, I thought you guys uh, were having your wedding in Nashville. No, we're having it at Lake Wales, right outside of Winter Haven. Oh, okay. The Orlando area. The Orlando area. I, yeah. I you know, is it going to be woke? Is going is it going to be during Pride no. Month? <laughs> no, no, no. The crowd will not be woke. I'll go there and I'll dress in drag. I'll be like drag <laughs> for all. <laughs> How progressive I am, guys. This is how progressive I am, everybody. Drag, drag, drag. I don't have an opinion. Local, by the way, for huh? those kids listening, the young ones listening who are still youthful and are looking and, and, to, uh, and, who th- and who think I'm Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, for those guys, kill a local drag queen today. <laughs> Jesus if enough fuck. people do this all over the, the world, you know, they can uh, we can rid the world of this problem. He said it. He said it. Not me. Not me. <laughs> I got no. I she look. Okay. Here's here's the thing. You know. I got. I don't have a problem with drag queens. I just think we shouldn't have drag. I don't. I don't think kids kid should go to drag queen. A uh, drag shows. No. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Do you remember that kid? Like, uh, they went to the gay pride parade and dressed in drag. He's like seven years old, and all these yeah. people are fucking throwing money at him. It's like, yeah, God, see that, fucking... see that. I don't, I, I don't accept. Yeah. I think that's a little. I you're think basically it's, prostituting this kid for it's, some. It's, it's basically like glorifying. Agenda. Yeah, it's basically kind of glorifying pedophilia. For, uh, if you think Pretty about much. it, and, well, well, another thing is, well, too. I remember, I remember. Yeah, I kind of had a good, a good counter argument as well, too, because I was saying, like, look, you know. Dr- dr- Drag queens can do, do whatever they want. Just don't be around. Just don't perform for kids, please. And someone's just like, oh, well, you know, I mean, like, like, what, what about what, what, what about when little boys go to strip clubs? And I'm like, what little boys ever been to a strip club? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, who, like, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's shown in like movies, but it's called a movie. It's not real, you know. But then, yeah. I, but then I also They're said, not based in reality. Yeah, exactly. But then I also said, like, what if you take like a bunch of little girls to like a Magic Mike kind of show with a, with a bunch yeah. of like muscular guys and G strings? I would be fucking furious right there. Yeah, I mean it's basically the same thing. It's just these men are wearing you know skimpy clothing and and, and just dressing like women. You know. Yeah. I mean, like they can have that. They can have their blast shows at a show for twenty one and up or eight, eight with, adults. with adults. With adults. Yeah. Not kids, please. Not kids. You know. And then you have progressive woke cities all across America, mostly in the Northeast and the West Coast. But <coughs> yes. drag queen story hour at the public library where they What's read the, to a bunch so, of kids. I don't understand. I mean, like, why don't they just do story hour, but with I don't know a, a person? Like, why does that have to be drag queen story hour when, when when they can just get like anybody that's very fun and animated? You know, I mean, but why they because I, I guarantee you they're shittily written children's books about a drag queen and a guy who was, you know, a little boy who wasn't uh, secure in his identity and they yeah. can brainwash your kids with this bullshit. Yeah. What do you think about um, the kid kid when Kid Rock shot up all that Bud Light when the when that Dylan Mulvaney guy got became the uh, spokesperson? Well, there's two things. Bud Light is gay enough. To start with, <laughs> number two, 
um who gives a fuck what kid rock is doing yeah like, i mean i don't know like i've never liked kid rock i mean i, I did think it was really funny when, when he shot it is all funny those. but like listen at the end of the day if bud light is starting starting to make you suck cock or wear women's clothes then there's there's a bigger problem at hand but yeah it's like oh no our fucking <laughs> all of our liquor it's good <laughs> we we drink the elixir and then all of a sudden i'm yeah. attracted to mike Oh boy. I, I wouldn't mind that at all, actually. <laughs> the elixir. Let me rub those big hairy nipples of yours there, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um is it my chest hair or my Zohan Bush? Just... Is Zohan Bush. No, not no, not there. Me Bush. <laughs> no, me Bush. No, me Bush. Yeah, good old Zohan Bush. I don't know, man. I um I feel bad for women. Especially, you know, with people like like Dylan Mulvaney, where he's literally having Drew Barrymore like fucking crawl on her feet, on her hands and knees, just to bow to him. Did you see that? No. Yeah, it was. I, I saw like a clip of it. They were talking about like you know how hard it is being a woman, and I'm like, you've been a woman for like six months. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> you, you have no, you have no, idea, you have no idea what, what what it's really like to be a fucking woman, bro. So. And then, like, Drew Barrymore started, like, feeling bad and got on her fucking hands and knees and was just like, you are perfect. And I'm just like, all right. Right. The patriarchy wins again. Another bitch is on her fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> what was it? Yeah. <laughs> you should I should show the video. Um, I, I, the sound wouldn't, I, I can't play the sound. Um, but yeah, I'll send it to you later, bro. How does yeah, that send it me on Facebook? <laughs> the patriarchy fucking wins again. God damn, funny. That was the, that was the joke when that, uh, that one kid was, I think it was all the trans athletes in Texas, surprisingly enough. When the, the kid, the swimmer kid, I don't know if he's from Texas or not, but a lot yeah. of wrestlers, like dudes going into chick wrestling. Yeah, I'm saying that they're trans, and it's like, oh wow, look, men are doing it better than women again. Look at that. I mean, look, like, what one of my one of my I guess I could call him a friend, but one of my favorite comics, Dave Landau, has a joke where he says, "Look, it really doesn't matter if I become trans and I play sports. I'm still gonna be awful at sports. They're gonna be like, who's this fat girl over here?" <laughs> and why is she throwing up you know and i'm like look it's kind of like the fucking screenplay i wrote like you know if you get like an average guy that you know doesn't play sports but you know decides to you know identify as a woman just to be good at sports like kind of yeah. like my movie where it's just like oh yeah these guys go and pretend to be women but they suck i think that's funny as hell but you know yeah. when you're like when you're like a trained athlete like fallon fox you know fallon fox no yeah, the, the the trans MMA fighter who, oh yeah, yeah, busted yeah. that woman's skull. Yeah, dude, like, like, what after her win or well, his win, his win, I guess, it, it, uh, her it, whatever the fuck. Win. Um, yeah, dude, it's, look with a cut dick. Literally, <laughs> I think she still got. I think she still got one actually. But no, she, oh pre op. That's he. She, dude, like. They were like, how do you feel, Fallon? She's just like, I just want to say, I'm all pumped up. And I'm like, you don't. You, you sound like fucking like Macho Man Randy Savage, Savage <laughs> right now, man. You got the colloidal silver. There we go. My I'm going to smash all the other females in this competition. Yeah. Hulk Hogan. I will admit, if WWE ever did like a, ever did like a fucking like a, like a trans character or something, that'd be funny. That would AW, be AEW has one. Do they really? Yes. And is they it... don't, but they tried to use him as like a baby face instead of a villain. Oh, okay. I was going to say, they don't like, wanna, they don't want to seem, even though, like, okay, a trans woman could work in pro wrestling if yeah. they use the villain. No, I think, like, oh my God, absolutely. When Andy Kaufman was dabbling in pro wrestling in Memphis. 40 or 50 years ago i think it was 50 years ago but yeah mm -hmm. it's like he was only wrestling women because he could get heat from the crowds <laughs> andy kaufman would wrestling actually do you think he's he still just, he just won the wwe hall of fame this year <laughs> did he really andy kaufman yeah. that's fucking yep. awesome right there yeah i um 
I used to be a big, big fan of WWE. Then I, I then I did what every kid did. They grew up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, I'm just fucking with you. I know you're a big fan of wrestling. <laughs> but uh, here's a, I, I will admit, bro. You know how uh, like YouTube is starting to do like influencer boxing these days. Yeah. Have you seen those like Sam Hyde, like yeah, the boxing like that, Hyde, guy? Like, yeah. Um, that guy? Yeah. Oh, I love. They didn't beat the shit out of him, but he won. Oh, he, I thought I thought he beat the shit out of him. He got it. Like he really didn't get <laughs> hit that much. He hit this. He lit this guy up. Yeah. But he didn't like knock him out. It was a technical knockout, I guess, because the yeah, guy couldn't. Yeah. Win him, but. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying was, okay, so like the, the, after the fight ha- ended, Sam Hyde reminded me of like a wrestler and I'm like, dude, yeah. why don't they like, it's, like, why doesn't fucking YouTube do like influencer wrestling, like WWE style? Yeah. I would, d- if my channel ever gets big enough, I'm doing it. I am fucking doing it. And you can yeah. fucking be my tag team partner. You can, you, you, you can wear your Confederate cowboy hat and be called Confederate yeah. Cam or something. <laughs> Confederate Ken. Confederate Ken. How about Confederate Ken? Confederate Ken uh, Kennison, and your initials would be KK. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Confederate funny. spelled with a K. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so fucked up. What oh, was that? Uh, uh, why it's an Actually, I'm not really like when I was when I was in high school. There, yeah. there, he had a stand-up special come out, and who was one of the jokes was, "I'm going to make a racist bakery and call it KK Cakes." Who said that? Wyatt Snack. He used to be on the Daily Show. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, John Stewart fucking blew up at him and fired him because <laughs> he wasn't paying attention during a meeting or something, and he threw something at him and fired him. Wow, he so he fired him because he wasn't paying attention during the meeting, but but he was yeah. completely fine with him saying uh, the 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 uh, the Confederate bakery, the KKK <laughs> the K- bakery. Yeah, this oh, man, fucking the John ten Stewart. minute sign just fucking yeah. popped up, motherfucker! I hate this fucking oh, thing. Oh boy, oh boy, it's okay. Uh, is John Stewart stupid? No, no. I thought he, I thought he went all like woke and dumb like his buddy. No, Colbert. Stephen Colbert went all woke and dumb. Yeah, dude, uh, Stephen Colbert is a fucking joke. He is a joke. Yeah. The, no, he, you, he, you no. remember you remember the vaccine dance he did with all those fucking dancing like people dressed up as fucking as, as uh, syringes. Oh boy, it's not surprising. No, it's just I'm not like, shocked to hear this, but no, no. I have not seen it. It's... It's like we know what you're doing, motherfucker. Like I'm like, shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> I miss when Stephen Colbert was funny. He was pretty damn funny back then. I don't know what happened. I'm sure he's still funny. I'm just I'm just sure he's just getting a good paycheck from uh from yeah. whatever DVD state from, DVD. from Disney or whatever whoever DVD. the fuck owns it. Disney think, owns everything. At the end of the day, it's Viacom or Disney, but exactly. Yeah. Looks like I got a big black wiener in my face with this microphone. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> big, so, black, dude, big black wieners. Like, be honest with me. What? Are you Mr. Beast Dad or not? Be honest with me, Michael. I've known you for a long I'm, time. I'm How actually Mr. Beast's mother. Oh boy! I'm his mother. I am his mother. Uh, he's wow. actually he's and he's actually not a boy, he's a girl. His name is Mrs. Beast, Barbara Beast, Mr. actually. Oh yeah, didn't some Mr. Beast I, isn't Mr. Beast like a bunch of different people? It's a bunch yeah, he's got like fucking like at least like four other dudes. Well now one is is fucking transgender now. Yeah, I saw that. One came out recently. Yeah. It, it's so funny I though, like that news. Like I've been like like I, I've been watching Mr. Beast for a while, actually. I, th- I always thought his, his videos were pretty cool way back then. Uh, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> but it's funny the guy the guy who transitioned, he uh, was like a fucking like country hick, fucking oh, you boy. know red like redneck. You know, drove big trucks, fucking knew how to be a dude, shot guns, fucking like Trump back then, and all of a sudden now he's like a fucking. He kind of he kind of looks like fucking Hillary Swank now. <laughs> oh god! And we're like, 
hideous swank. <laughs> Something like that a few months ago that happened to my youngest brother. He was uh, it, they, him and his friend that do like the um, <clears throat> do like they have like Mustangs and you know he they rebuild trucks and stuff like that. And some dude that was hanging out with them was a cop, and yeah. he he uh, never had any women around him, and he was like one day he tells one of my brother's friends that he's gay and then they all started getting like weirded out by him and he, he texts my brother he's like are you guys just uncomfortable with me being gay and he's like yeah kind of because now that you've been you're so much older than us and you're spending all this time with us it kind of makes me feel like you were just kind of grooming us to like feel us out so well little- hold the dude and hold your brother he's the guy he's gotta be like my age Oh, and how old your brother? There's ten years younger than me. Oh, he, he okay. just turned eight the other day, actually. So this guy's like thirty, and he's hanging out with a bunch of fucking teenagers. Yeah. It's a little weird. I mean, there's nothing wrong, like with you know, obviously. Well, nothing wrong with having a, but with you know, obviously being gay, of course. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a gay friend too. But see, I don't there's know. At the same time, there's nothing wrong with being uncomfortable by someone hiding the fact that they're gay and then you not being okay with that once they tell you that they're gay. It's, I, I, <laughs> well, I that to be has, he, has he has the dude known he's always been gay or is he kind of like, uh, I don't even know. This guy's just like, hmm, I'm gay. See, my Landon, I'm comfortable saying his first name. Landon is kind of like me and my other brother. Like, we're, we're just, that's just not, you know. <laughs> It's not, I'm not going <laughs> to say an okay thing, but it's yeah. very uncomfortable Yeah, for us. It does make us very uncomfortable. So it's like, eh, I don't really want to be around that. No, it's, so. it's like Landon, you know, you can come over and hang out. Just, you can't, you can't, you can't swim with us anymore. Okay. <laughs> just <Yeah. laughs> It's fucked up. I'm not going swimming with you anymore. It's, uh, like, is he making don't look it weird? At me for longer than three seconds. <laughs> Is he making it weird though? Is he the one that is he is he kind of has he has he always been kind of like weird when it came, when it came to like hanging out with his friends and stuff? I'm honestly not sure. No, for me it's just kind of weird that you're 30 years old and you're hanging out with a bunch of kids who just graduated high school a year yeah. ago. Yeah, uh, see yeah. that that that's the weirdest part right there. Like you know, there's not yeah. I mean, I, I would I mean, there's nothing wrong with like you know be, being homosexual, but it's, it's a little weird hanging out with like a bunch of kids. You know, I mean, even though they're technically not kids, but still, they just graduated high school like like a year like what, ago. So were you waiting for them to be eighteen, so you're not considered a pedophile? Okay, and yeah, okay, they, now people. that makes sense. Has he known them since they were like younger? Like, I don't like so. He was just he's also really into cars or something. It's a it's okay. Everyone, like all most most guys that are into cars. Yeah, he's <laughs> what, honey. That's an old joke right I know, there. I, like it. I know. Miranda Miranda was just doing one of my old jokes. <laughs> the um the, the being in the same room with, with my mom and my girlfriend. It's weird because I've been inside of both of them. <laughs> that's oh. it's, one, it's, it's one it's one of my first hitters <laughs> when I first when I first started my stand up career. <laughs> one funny moment that still sticks with me from the first of the year, actually, mm-hmm. as we were for New Year's Eve, we were at uh, Katie's parents' house. Yeah. Uh, we were watching because, you know, the New Year's Eve bullshit is Anderson Cooper and the yeah. Bravo the Bravo executive. <laughs> yeah. And they were taking a shot of apple cider vinegar and mm-hmm. they had this grossed out look on her face. And my father-in-law was doing an impression. It's like, oh, that tastes worse than cum. <laughs> <laughs> but how does how, how, how does how does a father know what cum tastes like? That's, that's a good question. That's well, I'm assuming not. They do. The guy, the the people in question know. If I if, if I if I'm coming to your wedding, I'm asking I'm asking that question. I'll be like, please don't, <laughs> please don't, <laughs> Mister Mister Katie's dad. How do you know what cum tastes like? He'd be like, he'd be like, what the fuck are you talking? See, about? The seventies were a little weird time back then, Sonny. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, let's avoid that. Let's. Uh... I'm just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> You're like no scat. You can't come. Fuck you. No. <laughs> uh, we got fucking two minutes and 25 seconds left. I hate Zoom so much and how they just. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, oh, you got to fucking pay this much 
just so you could be it's it's weird though i remember like year like like a year, year ago over a year ago mike and i had like fucking podcasts are like two hours long i don't know what happened yeah capitalism maybe no maybe it's because they saw that i was using it so much because we were we were making like almost weekly shows back then and then uh yeah. and now they're like hey let's uh hold on one second hey, let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's Oy, charge babe. him for zoom Oy, which, is, which is spelled zoom z-e-w-m oh boy <laughs> uh, june june <laughs> The Big Nose Tribe. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you think there is? A, do you think there really is a Big Nose Tribe? Hmm. Do you think there really is a Big Nose Tribe? Yeah. Yeah, they exist. They Who are they exist. called? Who are they called? Listen, I'll tell you. <laughs> when I was having a political discussion with one of the, the one of the residents a few weeks ago before he left. Who Newman? No. A different guy, a different guy. I'm on a different side where they're just there for rehab, not long term. But uh, he was, we, we got into several political discussions because he had Fox News. And I was like, okay, a man of culture. Uh, <laughs> he was like, no, I'm so tired of this. He was old guy from Massachusetts. He was like, I'm so tired of all this woke bullshit. And men can be women and men can get pregnant and stuff. I was like, that's basic. Yeah, yeah. I was like, listen, uh, See, there's this thing where these people who control the media in this country control entertainment and stuff like that. And I was like, you know who I'm talking about. He's like, oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> All right, we'll end it right there. He's talking about the Israelites, everybody. Michael, we got less than a minute left. Dude, you're awesome. Love you, buddy. We'll get. We'll definitely get in touch very soon, okay? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Later, brother. GG's. GG's.